They invaded. Now Libya is a destroyed country with a slave market in it. They said the same thing in Iraq. Saddam Hussein was killed, used weapons of mass destruction. After they destroyed the country, nothing happened. But in Ethiopia, we actually have a democratically elected government that the people love. Yes. Yes. In Ethiopia, we've had more democracy, more freedom than we've ever seen ever in our life and our history. Yes. Now. So, we're not going to allow the West to put puppet regimes on us anymore, are we? No. We're not going to be silenced anymore, are we? No. This is going to be our time. And this is not just about Ethiopia. The war on Ethiopia is the war on Africa. This is about also Eritrea. The war on Eritrea, the sanctions. They've been sanctioning Eritrea for 20 something years because the Eritrean government would not bow down. Because they're independent, because they're sovereign, because they respect themselves, unlike the TPLF. Yes. So we stand with Eritrea. Yes. We stand with Somalia. Yes. We stand with the Horn of Africa. Yes. How we're gonna get over this is by unity. The Horn of Africa unites now. We stand together. Yes. And we're gonna ignite, reignite Pan-Africanism again. Yes. Just like we did in 1896 with Azemilik and beyond. This is going to be the second Adwa where we're going to stop neo-colonialism today. Yes. They messed with the wrong people. Yes. They messed with the wrong people. Yes. Don't mess with Ethiopians. Yes. Don't mess with Eritreans. Yes. Don't mess with Somalis. Yes. Don't mess with the Horn of Africa. Yes. We're going to show them. So don't give up.